Master Sergeant Gary Gordon and Sergeant First Class Randall Sugard were two Delta Force snipers who were both posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor for their role in the Battle of Mogadishu. <laughs> Super 6 1 is hit. He is hit. Walcott's bird is hit. Hey, Will, you want to pull those BCLs up ladder one? Right, man. 6 1 going down. 6 1 going down. Number 6 1 is going down. They were tasked to provide sniper support from the air during the battle, but things went wrong after two Blackhawk helicopters were shot down. At one point, Gordon and Sugard requested permission to land near the second helicopter crash site and defend the crash site and four critically wounded helicopter crew members. They did that, even though large numbers of armed Somali militia were converging on the area. Advancing six, seven blocks from the crash. Shigar and Gordon again request permission to secure until convoy arrives. Over. General, crowds in the hundreds now. Where they are, they can see things clearer than any of us. They know what they're asking. Let me talk to them. This is Garrison. I want to make sure that y'all understand what you're asking for, so say it out loud and clear. We're asking to go in and set up a perimeter until ground support arrives. And you realize that I cannot tell you when that might be. It could take quite a while. Roger that. And you still want to go in there? Yes, sir. Colonel Harrell? Yes, General. It's your call. Roger that. Govina, put him in. On the first call, mission commanders denied their request to go there and protect the site of the downed helicopter until reinforcements arrived. The mission commander said that the situation was already too dangerous for the Delta snipers to safeguard the Black Hawk crew from the ground effectively, but they insisted. Mission commanders denied their request. In fact, they said the situation was already too dangerous for the three snipers to effectively protect the Black Hawk crew from the ground because overwhelming Somali militias outnumbered them. The command's position was that the three of them could be of more assistance, providing air cover. Once on the ground, they were armed with only their weapons and sidearms. Randy Shugard and Gary Gordon fought their way to the down Blackhawk. By this time, more Somali militiamen were arriving intent on either capturing or killing the American servicemen. When they reached the down Super 64, Gordon and Shugard extracted the pilot, Chief Warrant Officer Michael Durant, and the other crew members from the aircraft. They established a defensive perimeter around the crash site.
Forty's calling, man. I'll be outside. Good luck. Despite having inflicted heavy casualties against the Somalis, the two Delta snipers were too outnumbered and too outgunned. Their ammunition nearly depleted, Gordon and Sugard were killed by Somali militia's gunfire. Later investigation and reconstruction concluded that Gordon was the first to be killed. His teammate Randy Sugard retrieved Gordon's CAR-15 and gave it to Michael Durant to use. Shortly after, Randy Sugard was killed and Durant was taken alive. Immediately after the battle, the Somalis counted at least 25 of their men dead, with more severely wounded. Gary Gordon and Randy Sugard were the only soldiers participating in Operation Gothic Serpent to receive the military's highest honour and the first Medal of Honour recipient since the Vietnam War.